All right, hello everybody. Hi everybody. Hey, we are Happy Hour Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm um, Donna. We are full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Three homers of stuff. And we have a heck of a mess. <laughs> we do. It is Thursday afternoon. I'm just getting to the shipping uh, for the items that I sold, that we sold, mm -hmm. while we were away in Kansas. We went to Kansas and went to thrift stores in the middle of nowhere, Kansas. I wouldn't say nowhere. But before we left, we went to three cleanouts. Yes. And that's all in here. And then we went to see our friends, Ruth and Larry, in Kansas, and the van is full. <laughs> we got at back the end of the and video, we got some more. Yeah, at the end of this video, we're going to show you what we found in the middle of the country in Kansas, in the small towns of Kansas. Uh, that's kind of the end goal of this video. But first, Donna's going to kind of show you what all we got going on in here. We found, we got some shelves from our friend Alicia, Ink mm -hmm. Picker. Yes. And she's going to tell you kind of her plan and what all is going on with that while I just go ship. We're not going to show the whistles. I don't have a plan. She, did, she don't have a plan? I was hoping she had a plan. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ship. We're not going to show the what's sold. We're going to end up showing at the end the stuff from Kansas. But for mm -hmm. now, I'm going to give Don the camera. I'm going to go away, and she can entertain you. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I might show you the before and the after. How about that? <laughs> Something like okay. that. So have fun, Donna. Thanks. Okay, first of all, here's my shelves. You guys know we use these rolly carts from Costco. Well, Alicia hooked us up with one, two, three, four, and two more inside that are not put together. We had to take them apart to get them out the house. They are over there. <laughs> so here you can see our work area. You guys, it's chock full. It is chock full. Look at all that. We almost, we had it worked down. Remember the big tall piles? Had it worked down, you could actually see the table. And then we came in, we got a whole big pile of empty boxes um, from Columbus. We got a whole bunch of Christmas from Columbus. Over here, we got a whole bunch of stuff from Alicia, from a clean out. And we got a whole bunch of stuff. Where did it go? Over here from another buyout. Over here. That we did before we left. So we have Columbus, we have a private pick, and we have a house pick. And I gotta fix this. <laughs> so, this is the before. That didn't work. Okay. Well, I better get busy. I'll show you the after. All right. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> it is Friday morning. Uh, Donna was working out here last night. Yes. And we decided to film this morning instead of last night. Because it got tired and it got late. So. Yes. So Donna has put in a lot of work out here. And I'm going to let her show you what she has going on now. Okay, I showed them from standing like right here. So stand right here. Okay. And show them. Now that's what it looks like. Okay. And kind of go this way. All right. Let's 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 go. Let's go over there and show us what's up. Okay. I got four of these, we call them baker's racks or whatever they're called. These metal racks, yeah. These metal racks. They have wheels and they're great to move. And so basically I cleaned off the floor and boxed up and stacked up and put them on here. So they're very easy to move. So I can move stuff and get to it to list very easily. Nice. So we now have these ready to be listed and or, I mean listed on eBay and or dollar auction. Yeah. These I listed this morning early. Okay. This rack, we're gonna sell one of them. Okay. And everything on it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is all stuff from the booth. So we think we're going to probably what dollar auction that stuff. Yes. Just to keep flipping mm -hmm. things over, right? And the yep. Christmas stuff behind you came from uh, not one of our better buys. And a lot of that's going to the booth, right? Correct. Some of this will go to the booth. It is also from the Christmas buy. Okay. Christmas buy, this whole thing. And then these two are from the booth. Okay. 
And then, so we have two more racks yet that we might use inside that are taken apart. Yeah. But we can't put anything in front of here because then we'll lose our airflow from our. These are all empty totes that will be sold as well. Well, you're in luck. I just got a message this morning. Somebody asked if we had any totes for I sale. I got lots. Okay, and then this is Steve's stuff he's going to work today. Or yes. Soon. Yes, and this is a big trunk, a new trunk. This came from Alicia's uh, when we met with her. Um, and then just some more stuff that we'll. And this is just to a get few through. of the things that are left. Like I said, most of those are empty. These are empty for me to list. Yes. For eBay, and then some personal stuff. So when I was shipping yesterday, I didn't even get done. I had to leave, you know, at 20 till 6 before they closed to take everything that I could. Didn't even get done. I have like 10 more things I started shipping already. But when I went to the post office last night, I had a nice surprise. Look what he two, found! Two things. We got a card in the mail and we got a package we in the mail. We got mail! So, let's open them up and can, then, can we since we'll have stuff to put on the map, we got a card for sure, we'll update the map next too. Okay, first is the card. It says Grand Rapids, Michigan is the postmark. No return name? No. No, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. It's a flower card. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect for Donna. It says Happy Thanksgiving from West Olive, Michigan. Happy Heart Treasures is a favorite YouTube channel. I appreciate your real life videos and look forward to them each week. Keep up the good work, Linda. And it's July home in Michigan. Nice. That's so cool. And there's a verse, you guys, number 624. Let's look it up. Okay. All right, numbers 624. 624 said, the Lord bless you and keep you. Aw. There you go. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you, thank All you. All right, and we will get your pin on the map. Yes. Just a little bit. Okay. And then we got a package. Now we got a message the other day. Should we read the message? Let me pull the message up. Okay. Okay, I found the message and we think this is pertaining to this package. And if it's not, well, I'll edit this out. <laughs> but if it is, it's from Lucid Roses 1. And it says, hello, my mail should arrive soon as a token of your love for yarn and crochet, Donna. Yeah. Uh, it should arrive by Friday. It is Friday. If you already have this item, just resell or re-gift it. You can watch a how-to from this site if you're not familiar with it. What I sent with what I sent. I think your husband will enjoy it too. So please put him to the test and see if he will help you out. We love watching Yay. your videos as we love thrifting along with yarn collecting too. Happy holidays from Knoxville, Iowa, Jenny and Rich. But I don't know if it's so from we, them or not. We think this might be from Jenny and Rich. <clears throat> All right. Okay. It's so fun to get packages. Oh my goodness, what is it? Okay. It's one of the ball winders. Yep, ball oh my winder. goodness. Okay, I don't have one of these. You'll have to help me put it together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I've seen balls that people have wound. Funny story. So we actually have our friends Larry and Ruth, who you all have heard about. Yes. Larry winds her yarn into balls. I don't know how. Not so mine, his wife. Well, yeah, but he's been here before and wound your yarn yeah. before. He just sits there, and while we're talking, he just sits there and winds and yarn, but Donna do, doesn't have one. He did put a vintage one together that, you know, we got in to resell. But I've not ever had my very own from as a gift. I, I'm excited. <laughs> good. Very good. Well, what do you say? Thank you very much. It's, I hope this is what's from them. Yes, it is. It's the love of yarn. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love packages, especially <laughs> surprise packages that have to do with yarn. All right, we're going to update our list. Okay. We're going to put the, the one card on the board and we're going to pin everyone new that we have from since the last time we did it. Okay, there's All a right. bunch. All right, let's go. Okay. All right, back in the shipping basement here. It is a mess. I'm in the middle of shipping. We're not going to worry about that. We got seven to do? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. I'm gonna try not to go so close now because it makes it too blurry. Okay, so Jenny and Rich in Knoxville, Iowa, they got the ball winder and they're right there. Yeah, yeah, Flipper in Suffolk, Virginia. Virginia, another right one there. in Virginia, another one on the east side of Virginia over there. 
Sadie in Herdell Mills, North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina showing up. Look at all them dots. I forgot where they uh, were. Up on the top there. Up here? Yeah, oh, right there. there. Yep. Okay. Jess and Zena in El Reno, Oklahoma. Yep, we know them. Right in there. Right on. Tim and Tracy, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Up there by right New there. York. And they said... Pin us on the map, please. There you go. You are on the map. I think it's Ontario, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. It's Quebec. No, it's right on this side of Look the it. line. Is it? Because I went oh. there. I, I took a bus there when I was 19. Okay. Was it a fun adventure? No, it was 10 hours in the Chicago bus depot because the bus broke down. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm afraid for Jada to go to Chicago. Because the bus broke down? No, because I was 10 hours in the bus depot and it was scary. Okay. Um, <laughs> Patty in Yuma, Arizona. Way, right way, over way here. Over there. Yep. And then Linda in West Olive, Michigan. And we got a card yep. from Linda. And it's right That's in right there. right there by the Great Lake. Yes. All right. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. All right. Next up. We are going to get the stuff out of the van. It's been in the van for two days. We came home Wednesday afternoon. We went thrifting all in uh, around the middle of Kansas. With Ruth and Larry. With Ruth and Larry to several different towns. And we made some good money, we think. So we're going to show you everything we got. All right, we emptied the van. And it is all on this table right here. Yes. Yeah, from that box right there. To that Over box. here to this crate back there that you see. And what did we spend total on everything? I forgot already. Okay. <laughs> 329.14. We'll be able to tell you mostly individually what we paid for items, but it's it's hard to say. You know, we might forget a couple, but Okay. Where do you want to start? Let's start with these. All right. Well, here, this makes uh over half our money back right here. Found these at a thrift store on the way home. We went up to I can't remember the town. Linwood. They call it Taco. It's Linwood, no, Lindsburg. Lindsburg. Okay. Lindsburg. These were in the electronics section, $10 a piece. They are Wi-Fi um, paper printer scanners, and they are model number, I'll see this so I can pop up a comp. They're model DX255, and these sell for about $100 a piece, wow. and we got two of them. Okay. So that's a great start, good choice to start with. Good job, Steve. Most of the stuff is Donna. I bought like five things, she bought like 50. This, uh, I can't remember the name of the place. The it was like Reese, 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 Restore. 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 The Restore. Um, and this was in there for $50. And it was on sale like 25% off. 25% off. So $35 ish. Yeah. $37.50. Something it's like that. It's a 40 mile. 40 mile. This is an older mile, but it's a stay fixed older model. fence charger. And fence chargers are good money. This one, I saw a 10 mile one. I can't find this M6. But a 10 mile one sells for like, I think a couple hundred. I'll pop a comp up. So this might be like $300. Okay, Ruth and Larry found this. For me to sell, it is a Pioneer Woman. And it was 25 cents. And I forget the comps on it. Um, I found this. It is a blue sky. Isn't it pretty? With the little flower on the top. It was $4.50 and it sells for $30. Nice. Okay, I found this. It has like 150 sell through. They had it priced at 10. I asked if they'd take five. They said yes. It is a dimensions needle point. So it sells for about 24. All right. Um, okay, this one I got for two dollars. It's another one of those quilts that we've been selling for anywhere from 20 to 40 dollars. It has been open, so I'll have to double check and make sure it's all there. But that's another quilt. All right. Steve got these. Uh, a pair of brand new polo ralph lauren they got the tags and their pants and the tags say 115 dollars out there they sell for about 40 dollars uh, i paid 350 at a store for those we did a lot of thrift store yeah it was most shopping it's mostly thrift stores all basically all thrift store shopping and one restore yeah yeah because there weren't any garage sales or anything so okay at one of the stores we found sorry about the noise we have four of these kind of cups. Brother, Dad, Jane, and Mom. Okay. And these sell for like 15 a piece. 
Um, this is a Mickey Mouse figurine. There was only three listed. Taste of the Good Life, and I got that because, you know, Nebraska, the good life. There you go. Um, and I think he's going to be listed for, I think, 18 to 20. I can't remember, you guys. That she paid up. She paid $5 for it, which yeah, is okay. a great flip, but it was also in the first store. And Donna gets eager to buy stuff. <laughs> she, she likes to buy stuff, but it will sell. She thinks I'm making fun of her. I'm not. She does, though. If you look at her buying, she buys a lot more than me. All right. But that's what keeps us in business. I got a set of three of these Mexican glass, um, 25 cents a piece. And each one, they're unique. They're not the same shape. So I got three of those. I didn't look them up, but we've sold them before. That's why I picked them up. Okay, what's in here? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. It's all the same pattern. Dishes from the first store. Oh, this is from the first store. Okay. I thought it was from the last store. Okay. I got uh, dinner plates, teacups, and saucers, right? Yeah. I have no idea. I didn't see them. Um, this is the Churchill. We looked them up. And I cannot remember because it was the first store. So Ruth helped me find those. Um, we'll have to look them up. Okay. Okay. So I can't remember. These Larry picked up for me for $4 for the set. These are home garden party stoneware collection but they are the pine cone design and he looked up the comps on those and they sell pretty good i cannot remember okay what they are this little guy he's a fur reel i paid 375 for him and he sells for about 36 to 40 i believe so this is i move or is yeah. he electronic yeah he's a fur baby so he talks and his eyes open and stuff oh, okay Oh my goodness, you guys, this one was in the case at the ReStore and he was marked $50 and because we're trying to make smarter, more valuable purchases, I looked him up. Normally I would have walked right by him, but he said $50. He is a Holt Howard, very rare boy uh, caddy, boy, boy kitty, uh, letter caddy. I'm gonna list him for about $149.99. And got you, him you got oh, him for 30. I got him for 30 because I asked the guy if he would take less and he says, How about if I took twenty dollars off? And I was thinking maybe five, thirty dollars is great for this guy for the sell through. So I'm excited to get him listed. Um, okay, these Ruth picked him up. Um, these are ten dollars for the whole set, but just one of them. Do you remember what I told you? One of them sells nope, for like no thirty dollars. These <laughs> are Santa's helpers, and there's four pieces in here, so that means they're like two fifty a piece. Yeah. So I will make our money back with one piece. Yep. This guy is a rubber face. I believe he's Ruskin. Rushton. 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 Um, anyway, he is, he was $10 and I'm going to list him because he's faded. He's not as, as valuable as the ones yeah, that he aren't. Yeah, we were actually checking out and she threw him in. So she didn't really look into him very much. Um, so I'm going to list him for $49.99. Yeah. Okay. More glassware. Ruth and Larry found these and these were 50 cents a piece and he found a comp for them. 34 was it 34 I, I i wasn't i wasn't paying attention to that stuff i was off doing steve was thing. not engaged i was engaged with my own stuff <laughs> she do she doing over the glass and all that stuff i'm looking at other stuff i got two sets of these for two dollars each these this is a taylor it's not marked on this but i think it's marked on the cup a taylor You'll have to pop up Taylor comps. Swift. Not Taylor Swift. But anyway, um, I believe we can get $16 out of each one of these. Okay. So two apiece. Got two of them. Okay, you guys. Look at these. Steve wasn't thrilled with these. <laughs> but um, this is a set. And there's another one. Where is he? A uh, green one somewhere. He's in a bag. Okay, this, I think it's this lot, sold West on Worth Point for $95.
when I looked them up there's a lot of comps in there for the little bitty ones the six inch ones these are the 18 inch ones I have four so I think <clears throat> I'm gonna put them for the whole set at 124 and see what happens okay paid five dollars a piece right five dollars a piece 20 bucks okay so we'll see how they do and they were on the top shelf at a thrift store I had missed them the first time around and then this brand new this was at the restore they had 75 dollars on it but little did we know there's the tag this was on sale too we got it for 25 percent off so whatever that means it like 57 dollars and this brand new sealed sells for i think between 150 and 200 dollars so uh, i grabbed that this was from one store um and it was a lot of booths so I didn't find a whole lot that I could sell, but this little guy is worth $20. I got him for, I think he was three. This is a hand carved wood ashtray and he was marked at eight. So I paid up for him, but I think he's at 24 ish. And this I got for three and it was 25% off, but I always list these little snuggies for $14.99. All right, we had a phone call. We had a whole phone call we had to take. So now let's finish okay, up here. Okay, just a few things left. Ruth picked this up for me. It is Benji, and he is a vintage. I forget what year. Anyway, Benji, and he was three dollars. And I think she said he sells for like thirty dollars. Cool. So we'll see on that. And then I picked this guy up. It is Omnibus Fitz and Floyd for 50 cents and I am going to list him for like 36 nice cup this one be on the lookout for these little guys they come in a set of three I only found one it was a dollar I'm going to list him for I believe 15 something but the set of three is obviously higher this one is a shenana I forget anyway 25 cents and I'm going to list him for 16 this I just picked up. I didn't look it up. It's only 25 cents. It is embroidered Blitzen uh, towel, uh, napkins. Okay, this little set Ruth found at the ReStore. We picked it up for $10 a set. These are called, this little character is Daisy and they're the milk glass, federal milk glass. And the set of this we're gonna list for around $40. Pick we got it for that? 10, okay. yep. This came from the ReStore as well. Picked it up for two, and we're gonna list it for 16. This I picked up, I forget how much it was for, but we picked it up for three. It is a water filter, and I can't remember how much it comps for. That's all right. Yeah, and this is a bean Frencher. It makes French cut beans, and we picked up for $2, and I believe this one was at right around 30. I picked this up just because it was 25 cents. It's a little boot hook, I think. Boot boot button hook. Okay. Vintage. I picked these up at a store. They're plastic. I'm going to try the crochet covered ornament. Ornament. Yeah. I picked this up at uh, one of our last stores. I didn't comp it. It was only 50 cents. It's Busilla Waverly pattern, um, cross stitch, stamped cross stitch. I don't believe it has the thread with it, but I didn't comp it at all. We picked up another cookbook. We all, we list these for $14.99. It is from 1993. So we'll just comp or put that list out for $14.99. Pick this up for a dollar. It's a Tupperware vintage um, shredder. So I, I don't know what the comp is for that. Sorry. <laughs> this is a Brighton beach towel. Picked it up at a thrift store for $3. This I don't know what paid about. Eight, paid eight dollars. Pair of uh, Brooks got them at a thrift store for eight dollars, and they sell for uh, forty to fifty dollars. Okay. We picked this up at a thrift store for $10. It is the whole nativity set. It's all listed right here. It needs double A batteries, but it is the manger scene from the little people. Cool. I don't know about the comps for that. I can't remember what I told she you. She just liked it. Um, Ruth found this. This is the Magic Mill. It grinds wheat flour. Um, we paid $20 for this. However, um, it comps for $69. All right. 
This one we picked up at our last thrift store. It is a Thomas series, 30 different uh, Christmas ornaments. So it's a collection. Another layer underneath there, yep. And um, we paid $12.50 for this and it comps at about $50. Yes. We found another one of these. We, we really liked at a garage sale last year, but it was really expensive. And the so comps was... at that time were not what they are now. Yeah, okay. So um, I, that's because Christmas is nearer. <laughs> we were looking at in June. All right, well then you better list it soon. That is correct. And- All right, two more boxes. I picked these up. These are vintage Schwann's, oops, vintage Schwann's uh, all kinds cups. of glasses and cups and and servers. i did find a few comps for that this one i kind of just decided to get at the last minute it's got some other little pieces because it seemed that they did sell well you only paid like what, two bucks for the whole thing or something? three i think three? for okay. the whole box okay last box i don't know a whole lot on this what we paid for because this is a lot of what ruth and larry found i did find this one myself at a store can't remember how much but again we're gonna list him you paid a dollar so 14.99 i picked these up for a dollar 50 but these are the glass blown uh, oh, ornaments yeah. mm -hmm, for about 16 a piece for the big ones yep. ruth found this for me um it is Beaumont Brothers, and I started a listing for it, but I can't remember how much it was. <laughs> so I'm so sorry, I don't remember all of these, but there's so much in our brain. Um, Ruth picked this up, I haven't, I don't know for sure on that one. Just an unusual cup. She picked up this um, troll because they do well in our store, in our booth. This is a Scentsy Frog. Remember, gotta kiss a lot of frogs. Yep, that's right. <laughs> And this is a happy birthday build a bear with his little tag still on. Ruth picked up. Ruth picked up this guy. He looks like Jim Shore. He doesn't, he's not marked Jim Shore. Yeah, I don't think he's actually Jim Shore, but. Actually, there's something under, nope, nothing on there. So I don't know if he, what he is, but she picked these up and we combed these and these were so good. I just can't remember what. I will put these back on. Um, I don't remember what she got them for, but they're M, is it Bagwell? M Bagwell looks like, that one has a chip on it, but. Where? Right by your finger. Oh. But there's three others. Yeah, three others. Anyway, um, she picked those up for me and that is it. The rest of this is just packing. All right. Except for your picture down here. Oh yeah. There's a picture they tried to get me to buy, and I usually don't do pictures. I don't do art because I don't like to think about shipping it, but this is a signed Martha Cahoon, and I don't remember the lithograph? name of this, it's a of signed this lithograph? picture, but it's a signed lithograph, and actually like sold for like 123 or 125 or something like that, if I remember correctly, and so I, I took it and you know what I will ship it. if this thing sells for hundred dollars I'll ship it um, but we'll, Was we'll it figure out what to do with that about 136 you okay 136 then maybe I don't know but it was a hundred and hundred and something under 150 so I grabbed it it was only two dollars at the restore so I grabbed it and we'll we'll see what we can do with it yeah that's our fun little haul you, um, from Kansas. Yeah. A fun little haul from Kansas and the most fun part of it was getting to thrift with our friends again. Yeah, I mean, we have several things there. I mean, I didn't pick up much, but I picked up a few high dollar items. He picked up the high dollar to pay for my habits. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have like three things that'll pay for everything and then mm -hmm. the rest of it is all just... Uh, what do you call it? Bread and butter? Bread and butter. Uh, well, it's just the, uh, the gravy on top, I guess. I yeah, know. something. But anyway, we're going to try to get these things listed as soon as we can. I mean, it is, we are in Q4. Yes. Um, by the way, I did want to say, if you are a reseller and you're watching this and you're on Facebook, there are Facebook reselling groups. Like, I don't even know. I don't even you know, worry about the names of them. If you're in them groups, there are a lot of people that are negative in there and i see the comments all the time somebody will sell something and they'll get an offer or sell something to somebody with zero feedback and it will be uh -huh. a high dollar item and they people tell them to cancel it nope they got zero feedback they're just scamming you 
I've never had an issue. I'm sure I'm sure I will at some point. I know sometimes people do, but generally don't have an issue. So that tree we sold the other day at three seventy nine ninety nine. When I shipped it, I didn't put insurance on Accidentally, it. Accidentally, you didn't I, mean not to. I do. usually anything over like one fifty two hundred, I put extra insurance on just to make sure it arrives, and I didn't. And so I was like, crap. So I was following the tracking, and yet last night I saw it got delivered, and so I was like, well, as long as we don't get a return, you know, I know it made it there safely. And this morning I get up, and there was a feedback, positive feedback, with a picture of the tree. They love the tree. <laughs> don't be afraid to ship to zero feedback people. I mean. It, yes, it can happen, absolutely, but I, more times than not, you're going to have no issues with it. Somebody that got online to find a, a specific thing. And it helps to pray for safe travels. <laughs> yeah, you can do that too. But <laughs> When you forget insurance. But yeah, don't listen to all the negative. I mean, I'm the great papooer, but, yeah. you know, you got to let it fly and just go out on a limb and do this. Sometimes. Because I would have hate. yeah, if I would have listened to people like on Facebook, then I would have lost out on a three hundred seventy nine ninety nine order that they loved so don't listen to that crap okay i think that's it <laughs> all right we got so much to do you guys it's it's yeah. crazy because we were gone we're behind in listing we haven't listed much of anything recently so we want to get the rest of the shipping done and we want and donna got this all organized so now we want to spend the next working, week working, thanksgiving's working. in six days so we're hoping to get several solid days of just listing once i get the shipping out here i'll be free to list and make this video but we got a lot of work to do in a little bit of time so all right all right like and subscribe share with your friends make sure you check out happy heart treasures on dollar on ebay because there are some handmade crocheted items in there that would be great christmas presents um i think that's it yes and um I had something else and it's oh if you haven't left your where you're from where you're viewing from yes drop it in the comments below we would love to put some more pins on the map so. and thank you thank you thank you everyone who are sending christmas cards already and notes and everything in and, the mailbox and a ball we, winder and a ball winder yeah. and crafts that they've made oh my goodness we love it love it love it so thank yes. you everybody yeah thank you for watching our videos we greatly appreciate yes, you especially the ones that are still watching now yes. so anyway we are happy our treasures i'm steve i'm donna we'll see you on the next one bye